Hi guys, welcome to Technologic and I am Abhijit Kadam. Uh, today we have a video all about uh, this particular hard drive. This is the Western Digital Caviar Blue uh, 320 gig hard drive. Uh, this is from one of my clients uh, uh, for which the PCB, uh, this was the original PCB of this drive and was got damaged for some reason. It uh, got some short circuit and uh, finally I also managed to get the same PCB uh, the same revision number and exactly the same which you can you know uh, uh, got from the similar hard drive uh, dead hard drive probably and um, but then uh, the thing is we cannot just uh, you know start this particular drive with changing the PCB only we also have to replace this particular chip now this is located exactly at the center okay this chip has been removed from here okay so this is the chip which has been removed and replaced now the reason to do so is because this is the chip which consists of the crucial data of uh, this particular hard drive okay now uh, that that is the reason if you don't replace this chip you won't be able to see this hard drive or listed on your bio screen okay or it may not be detected and you won't be able to recover any data whatsoever from this drive so in that case uh, we have already replaced the chip and as of now this drive is fully functional now I had to perform this practically uh, you know replacing this chip uh, video uh, but then uh, for some reason as you know I usually be at the shop so there are many people disturbing me in between so I, I was not able to make it and also this actually took me more than two hours to do this complete this particular procedure before performing this I actually uh, tried to check out some videos with the same procedure if any of the technicians or experts have tried this before but then unfortunately I was not able to find any damn video on this same trick what I have performed okay because I, I, I was just doing for the first time and I was not uh, confident enough to because I may you know may have damaged this particular chip and the data would have been lost forever so that's the reason I thought maybe I'll look for some similar videos when people have already tried it and uh, got some success and so that after gaining some confidence I would have done that myself but then uh, unfortunately I did not find it and finally uh, before me trying it personally I took this drive to an expert uh, the local expert but then even he said that you won't be able to do anything about it and you have to throw the you know throw off this drive it's of no use so, so somehow I managed to get the same hard drive with the same capacity and of course with the same PCB and the revision number at the back I matched it properly matched the components properly and when I was confident enough that this PCB is similar um, I bought it and then I you know replaced the chip and it was done so in the nearer future when I receive any such hard drive again because I, I cannot do that you know this is not a kind of a replay procedure because uh, if once I have succeeded maybe the second time I may damage the chip so I won't experiment the same thing on this drive now but then in future I have uh, if I have any such drives uh, for which I need to replace the PCB I'll surely uh, do the practical video wherein I'll show you how do I remove this particular chip and replace it I'll surely do that for you till then uh, if you need to perform this please do not do it yourself you have to seek the contact with any technician who have an air blower who can remove this particular chip and do it for you okay and do not try this yourself with a at least with a you know heat gun because that may damage all the pins because these pins are so small these are so delicate these are uh, just the width, width of your hair okay the human hair so uh, don't try this at home okay you may completely damage or permanently damage your hard drive forever so well so if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel 
in future you might receive some complicated videos for which you may get some answers to and uh, also uh, please mention some comments if you need to ask me something i'll be more than glad to answer you till then bye bye thank you very much for watching this video have a great day